Hi and welcome. My name is Rafael Taubinger and I'm going to show you how a machine learning application can be created from a starter project in ImagineMob AI to a final embedded application in IR Embedded Workbench for ARM and deployed to the sensor tile multi-sensor development kit from ST. First, ImagineMob, that's a partner from IR Systems, has ImagineMob AI, that's a development platform for machine learning on edge devices. It allows users to go from data collection to deployment on an edge device in minutes. So ImagineMob AI helps users to convert machine learning models to optimize C code at a click of a button. This, of course, saves months of development time. So ImagineMob AI integrates with the IR Embedded Workbench and allows you to add TensorFlow models to your project and convert them to C source code that can be optimized with the IR toolchain for the fastest and most compact output of the final application. More details about ImagineMob AI included supported TensorFlow layers and activation functions can be found on the link displayed on the screen or at the description of the video. In ImagineMob Studio, the tool covered the entire machine learning workflow optimized for embedded devices with applications for audio, uh, gesture recognition, signal classification, fault detection, and material detection like displayed on the screen. In this video, we will also make use of the sensor tile box multi-sensor development kit from ST to run the machine learning model and process the sensor data in real time. More details about the board can be found on the link displayed on the screen, uh, but also again on the description of the video. The sensor tile box is a ready-to-use kit with wireless IoT and wearable sensor platform to help you to use and develop applications based on remote motion and environmental sensor data. Uh, the board fits in a small plastic box with a long-life rechargeable battery for the ultra low power ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller and includes many high precision sensors like displayed on the screen. Temperature sensor, uh, we have uh, inertial measurement uh, unit, uh, accelerometers, magnetometers, uh, altimeter pressure sensor, uh, microphone uh, audio uh, sensor, and finally humidity sensor. Uh, there is also a programming and debugging interface that connects smoothly to the IR Embedded Workbench and included is also adapter to make that all easy. So now it's time for the demo and let me show you how this all comes together. So uh, I have here uh, ImagineMap Studio that uh, I downloaded and installed it already. Uh, you can get it of course from the links I already mentioned before. So first time you start it, uh, you get some tooltips, uh, of course, to make it easier to uh, know how you create a project and so on. Uh, I will just move forward here. And first thing I need to do, um, I need to uh, create uh, a new project. And uh, we will be using here a starter project. And as you can see, uh, there are a few um, ready uh, starter projects from uh, human activity recognition, or even uh, radar gesture uh, recognition. Uh, there is then the keyword spotter. That's the one that actually we will be using here. Uh, and we want um, that device at the edge to identify uh, two commands up and down. So, uh, and finally, there is also indoor outdoor detector. So what I need to do here is just uh, select here uh, the starter project. Uh, it will ask uh, for um, a name. And let's name it just AI uh, demo. Uh, from here, uh, I also know that I want to save it, um, of course, uh, in a specific folder here. So I have already done that. Uh, it's also saying that it will download some information if I confirm here. So uh, from here, uh, now um, I have uh, the starter uh, project. And uh, there are, um, of course, first we have the data. Um, and that's where you can, of course, collect additional data. I will mainly use the starter project the way it's provided. Uh, if I just click here, for example, Down. in one uh, group here. Down. Uh, and Down. Um, Down. just run it here, you might uh, see how it works. 
as you can see, uh, it's recognizing uh, the keyword down and uh, set in different ways, maybe with some noise and so on. Uh, that's uh, one example. Up. And if I up. look here, maybe up. on uh, uh, likewise uh, up. the up, uh, comment, up. Up. pretty similar. Up. up. Again, uh, also uh, set in different ways, uh, maybe different uh, scenarios, rooms, and so on. So here is uh, where you can uh, do uh, all um, that step of collecting uh, data. Uh, then, of course, you can do some uh, additional uh, tuning here and settings. Uh, there are some preprocessor information, uh, some information related uh, to training. But what I want to focus here is actually uh, the model. And if I just click here uh, on uh, the model, uh, we will see that uh, uh, we have some additional properties that we can uh, change uh, about uh, the network here, evaluation, um, I mean, um, the precisions and, and so on. Uh, but what I want to focus here is actually uh, the C generation here for um, the Edge uh, device. Uh, everything will be actually saved here in this uh, output directory Edge. We use the C prefix uh, here that it's predefined. And um, what I'm going to do here, once I build here, uh, this model, uh, we'll see that uh, it generates us all the information and it's mainly the .c and .h file uh, that it's being generated. Um, here's some resources that are required and if we look here on the left side we can see uh, the two files uh, model 11.c and model 11.h and these files actually need to be used um, now at IR Embedded Workbench so if I move from here uh, to uh, IR Embedded Workbench. I have uh, my model, I trained it, uh, I have it maybe optimized, tune it, so I can go to IR Embedded Workbench. I'm using here a ready uh, project, but uh, of course, uh, if you want, uh, you could use uh, STM Cube MX uh, to uh, generate, uh, let's say, uh, a new uh, project with some additional settings. Um, of course, uh, you can generate a project that is compatible compatible with IR Embedded Workbench, uh, but on the same side, you know, uh, if you use the board selector, uh, you will already get um, some examples too that you uh, can use. So another option is if you go to the website from ST, uh, st.com, and look for the sensor tile uh, board. Uh, there are, of course, uh, some uh, resources also available here. If I scroll down, uh, there are some out-of-the-box um, projects that you can use here. Good, so let me move back here to Embedded Workbench. And um, there is a very good integration between uh, ImagineMap Studio and IR Embedded Workbench. So um, the way it works or what you can do actually is that uh, by using the .h5 file, uh, the model file, uh, you can make sure that uh, the C and the uh, .h file are always uh, up to date and um, generated here from uh, Embedded Workbench directly. And the way that this works actually is if we look here um, inside options, custom build, uh, it can actually recognize the .h5 file uh, from the model. Uh, there is here on the command line the ImageMap command line utility with some paths and so on. And finally, then uh, the output files uh, .c and .h. So from here, what I need to do is actually add the .h5 file uh, to the project and since I know where it's located it will make it easier here so I'm looking for uh, the model so the file can be found here and if I open this uh, you will see that it's uh, populated here um, on uh, the project so I have the model 11.h5 and every time uh, I do a build uh, on this project uh, we uh, will mainly see uh, what happens here. So I will just uh, force uh, a make here and um, the file should be regenerated uh, by every build here. This should be very uh, straightforward and easy. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the project is building. Uh, I can actually have a look here um, in uh, the files itself. And there are mainly three functions that need to be invoked. And these functions are actually uh, the IMI init, the NQ, and DQ. So these are the three functions that need to be um, used because they are, these are the functions from uh, the model. 
and the use is very straightforward. So if we have a look here inside main, um, we uh, do that call to the init function right at the beginning, right after hardware init. And uh, if I look um, on functions here, I should just go here directly to the audio uh, process function. And uh, what happens here is uh, this uh, function, it's mainly uh, call it every uh, one millisecond when data is available. And then there is some processing hap happening here. So we mainly have the NQ first, and after uh, there is a DQ. Uh, so this is all what you need to do, um, have a routine that uh, can take care of this. Good. Uh, now uh, I have my project uh, all built here. Um, we don't have the time to go into much details here, but what I can tell you, and you can probably repeat that too, uh, by using uh, the IR compiler, if we just look here uh, on the code size, I can tell you that uh, without any optimizations, you need at least uh, 34 to 36k more. So the IR compiler is, of course, very powerful. And uh, you might be wondering that uh, here the read-only data is uh, maybe a, a bit bigger, but that's because the model is not uh, fully trained or not that optimized, I would say. Good. Um, now that I have all in place here, uh, I can, of course, also uh, connect to the target. Uh, what I have here is um, I have um, iJet from IR connected. If I go to the options here, we will see here iJet and the interface we are using is SWD. Uh, there is an adapter provided, as you can see uh, in the picture. Once you have that uh, in place, uh, you can just download uh, to the target and do the deployment. And from here, we land at main, and all the debugging capabilities uh, are then uh, available. Uh, of course, you can look inside uh, memory. Uh, you can have access uh, to the registers. Uh, so all is there. So as you can see um, from ImageMap Studio, generating C code, building it, uh, then connecting to the target. And you can even uh, do uh, some additional debugging here to make sure the application works fine. So if I want to show here how it works in practice, I will just connect the board uh, here uh, correctly. And uh, what I can do here, if I just start putty here, uh, we will be able to see uh, what's uh, coming in here. And uh, it's already printing some information. And uh, the way it works, actually, you need to connect to the STBLE uh, app from your smartphone. And from there, uh, once you connect to it, uh, the microphone will start to be read it. And that's what's happening now. Up. Down. Up. Down. So as you can see, uh, it's recognizing uh, the comments I'm giving up or down. And uh, this is actually the way uh, it works. So perfect. This is uh, our first machine learning application directly on the edge. Great. So what are you waiting for? Just try out your first machine learning application based on TensorFlow models with the complete flow from ImageMap AI, IR Embedded Workbench for ARM, and a compatible development kit like the ST Sensor Tile Multi Sensor Board. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this video.